Okay, welcome back. Now, the Biden White House is kicking off its sweeping student loan bailout into another high gear level of a campaign push. They're, and I say that for a reason. They're emailing options to tens of millions of Americans on how they could get their student debt wiped out. Let's bring in, we're so excited, former Education Secretary Betsy DeVos and former President Trump. Betsy, great to see you again. What do you think of this? Well, what I see is that desperate people do desperate things, and Vice President Kamala Harris and their administration are desperate to win in November, so they are doing desperate things and, frankly, blatantly illegal things in Washington. And that includes using taxpayer resources to try to win student votes and promise them debt forgiveness and blame Republicans if they don't go along with it. You know, they've been turned down at every step of the way. The Supreme Court turned their plans back. Other courts have turned subsequent plans back. And yet, just this past week, uh, Secretary Cardona sent out on taxpayer resources emails to millions of students saying, remember this in November. Republicans don't want to forgive your student loans. We do. That's illegal. That's so, blatantly illegal, and the Office of Special Counsel should investigate. Yeah, I mean, so this is serious stuff. So this sounds like the Education Secretary in the Biden White House is engaging in election interference to use the database to get out the vote for Kamala Harris on student loan bailouts that taxpayers are paying for. Yeah, absolutely right. And the American people know that student loan forgiveness isn't forgiving anything. It's simply transferring the debt of one to another taxpayer who likely hasn't taken out the loans, who likely has it or paid back on them faithfully. And so it's wrong, it's illegal, and we need to call them on it. Yeah, I mean, the polling shows the majority of voters are against the uh, student loan bailouts. They say it's unfair. Uh, it's wrong. Working class, blue collar people, you know, people who never went to school. I have people in my family who never went to college. Uh, they, they're like, why should we have to pay the bill, higher taxes for this? And doesn't it basically just bail out fat cat academics who are doing tuition gouging? Well, yeah, absolutely. The, the studies have shown that the, ben, the biggest beneficiaries of their loan forgiveness schemes and scams make over $300,000 a year. And they're talking about between $870 billion and $1.4 trillion of student loan forgiveness. It's simply unconscionable. It is wrong. It's illegal. And they have continued to ignore what the courts have said and continue to blatantly try to court and buy the votes of students. Betsy, are you getting any reaction to the very important points you're making here? Well, I think more and more people are, are realizing how desperate they are to win and what lengths they will go to. But this step by Secretary Cardona to use taxpayer resources and appeal directly to students to support Democrats instead of Republicans is simply wrong and illegal. Betsy, come back soon. Thanks so much for bringing up the story. We appreciate you.